Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching the 100 days episode four of the fifth season. Hopefully, guys, have been enjoying it so far. And if you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. So, at the end of last episode, kind of made a bold little statement by saying that it's potentially the best start to a season that we've currently had. Only three episodes in, but I thought it's been very, very good. And you know, I've really enjoyed the pacing and how we've actually focused, give a lot of time to each of the different segments that are currently going on. Do you know what I mean? We've got people in space, people on Earth, people in the bunker. You know, Octavia had the whole episode two focused it on her. You know, the first episode was kind of a bit of Clark and obviously them in space, and that was the same again last episode. And that was interesting because obviously we did see they actually left the ring and they went over to the other ship in hope, obviously, that they could have some fuel to send them back down to Earth. Now they actually got onto the ship and, um, you know, in search of uh, trying to find uh, what they need. They actually found some capsules with like 300 prisoners and pretty much they're all still alive, but they're all in these little like pods. Very, very interesting. And uh, speaking about these pods, they were starting on Earth looking for Clark and they found out that obviously their ship had a trigger warning. So they deployed their defense measures and that was actually to wake somebody up. They come in, they've tried to attack Bellamy. They seem to be super strong. Uh, you know, Bellamy was fighting him. Echo had to come. She stabbed him. He was still going. Bellamy grabbed him, strangled him and killed him. But you could see that their army is working. They're strong, mate. And, uh, you know, they were faced with a decision. Do we kill them all? Do we just pull the plug and just kill everybody? Or what? Do you know what I mean? Or do we just leave them? Now, Murphy was all for killing everybody. Echo kind of said, look, mate, can we kind of, like, hack the system so that we can, um, you know, we can kill them whenever we want? Don't have to be right now. Bellamy was like, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We can use it as leverage. If we go down to Earth and, you know, they've captured some of our people, then we can use this in terms of, you know, uh, negotiations. Now, obviously, Raven did manage to do that, but she was saying somebody actually has to stay on the ship. So she was saying, mate, it's so techy, it's advanced. I can't really teach anybody. I'm going to have to stay here, but don't worry. There's a ship for the captain and a plus one. So, like, if you go down to the earth and you don't really find peace and he won't come up and get the prisoners and obviously bring me down, I could just leave in that capsule. No worries. So, Bellamy was fine with that. You know, he went back to the ship and got a Mori to drop them off back down to earth, which is successfully done. But on earth, Clark was captured. Now, instead of, like, not really torturing her, but they basically were saying, we'll kill Madder. Do you know what I mean? When we find her, we'll kill her. Otherwise, you know, if you tell us... um how many more people are on the ground, then we'll work well with you, and that, uh, you know, there'd be no one hurt today, pretty much. So Clark actually started revealing this information, but as they come back down to the earth, obviously Bellamy and Cole, and got out the ship, they seen them. They already gone over point guns to him, spoken to the commander, they said, look, mate, there's five more people here in the woods. She surrounded Clark and said, you only said there was one. Um, she said, you know, even the playing field, Clark's killed four people, take four of them out, and then who's come over? Madder, bang, 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 she's killed them. She's like, Bellamy, ah, mate, I know who you are, Clark's been waiting for you. Do you know what I mean? Very interesting. He's like, who's this kid? She obviously knows because she's been looking at the pictures that Clark's been drawing, and then she drove him all the way to the camp. He's got out, and he's started the negotiations. He's like, look, mate, you know, the, the, the woman said to him, look, what's stopping us from shooting you right here, right now? And he said, mate... Three, uh, 283 people up in space that we could just kill like that so do you know what i mean i'm here to do a negotiation for clark if you're not willing to listen they're gonna die and then that's how the episode ended so very very interesting really excited and how it's going loving the start of the season very very good hopefully today's episode does not disappoint thanks for checking it out if you do enjoy it please smash the like it really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Forgot about Kane, he's back in the pit. Why is he there? Each of these four combatants have committed crimes against one crew. One of you will be given a chance to once again be called brother or sister. The only rule in this arena is be the last. Be the last. <laughs> That's me. Look at him with his little shield. Can it's medicine again? Do you reckon he stole medicine or she stole it? Come on, Kane, throw it at him. Yes, Kane. What I'm talking about? Yo, he's changed. Gotta do what he gotta do to survive, though. He's losing them. Has he earned his freedom, Blood Rain? No. No. He fights again tomorrow. That's pretty savage from Octavia, that, isn't it, mate? So he's dead. 
because medicine was stolen. Now, obviously, Abby's just saying it was her. Kind of guess that would be the reason that he'd be in there. But he's just gone through that. He's won, and apparently that's not enough. Do you know what I mean? He's got to fight again. I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I, I just think you should be just in and out. Job, jobs are good and done and dusted. You, you shouldn't have to prove yourself two times. As long as we can make a deal. A deal? We need your help opening a bunker. You're minors, so that shouldn't be a problem for you. And then what? Happily ever after? And we will split this valley down the middle. Do we have a deal or not? He offered an alright proposal though. He didn't ask for much, really. Just help open a bunker. You're right here. Maddie. She's safe. They're all still alive. Murphy. Blondie Raven. Echo and Amori. How are they going to open it, though? How are they going to pull all the rubble away? They're all still asleep. The sleeping prisoners are green. As Monty would say, green is good. The empty pods where the crew slept are red. Red is... Dead. She looked familiar. It's the woman from the captain's log. She was something they called a Navy SEAL. She became a terrorist. At the time of her arrest, she was the most wanted criminal in the world. That's really interesting. So she was a SEAL, but then she turned terrorist. The laser comms and all the mines, so they can hear every word we say. Meet you, we're not bad people, we... Just... Copy that. <laughs> Someone wants to say hello. Raven? Clark? I don't believe it. Jeez, and they call me the cockroach. <laughs> I want to hear everything. Okay, but first, thank you for saving our lives. We gotta go. Raven, stay safe. We'll talk soon. I want to be airborne in 90 seconds. T minus 90 seconds and counting. How long would it take this Raven to kill everyone in cryo? I'm assuming she's removed the fail saves. Three minutes. Do you trust me or not? We grab the doctor, kill the hostage taker and his girlfriend. We go home and find a cure. Where are they going now? Are they going back up? Ah, I don't even know what's going on there. Where are they going? You're the crowd on your side. But you lost them when you showed weakness. Yeah, I didn't show weakness. He smashed his head in bare times. I know you didn't steal the medicine cane. You kept us together, Octavia. It's true. One crew strong. Put ourselves apart during the dark year. One more word about the dark year. You know the law. I won't fight. You lost your way. Your mother was floated for having a second child for having you. We have a chance to do something better here. Strength without mercy is nothing. Tell me who stole the medicine. So be it. Indra's not... Looks like she's not a big fan of Octavia right now. Or her choices, anyway. He won yesterday. I made sure to match him up with a weaker opponent today. I took the drugs. I, I, I can't function without them. And I... You were right to have me lock her up. He knew you confessed to try to save him. What have we done? What we had to do to survive. How many times can we tell ourselves that? <laughs> well, to be fair, stealing medicine is not that bad. It's time. No, not yet. When it comes to me, you will stop taking the pills. I will, I promise. It's kind of obvious. What, it's kind of obvious that Abby was the one that needed the medicine and probably took it, you know. Um, kind of one of them things, though, when everybody stands up and say, it was me, it was me, it was me, it was me. It's like you don't know who to listen to or who to pick, do you know what I mean, when everybody does it. Now, like, him kind of giving up now is pointless. Obviously, I think he's going to win or something's going to happen. You know what, right? I was going to say, low-key... Indra's one of my favourites, but it's not even low-key. Every time I see her do something, I, I, I like it. Like, I think Indra's great, me, honestly. She's sick. You can tell her here as well. Like, if you look at how her character's changed from when she's first introduced to now, she actually knows... Uh, like, the thing with Indra is, like, she's got a battle line. Do you know what I mean? And she knows, like, when there's a war, I'm on that fucking line, I'm taking you out. But then, obviously, there's this side of her as well where she actually kind of, I don't know, like... She could see things that she dislikes, and I feel like she might say something, but do you know what I mean? I, I really do like her character, because she's a great war hero, but then she's also, like, it seems like a decent person as well. And she's willing to kind of, I don't know, even if she dislikes somebody or something, if she feels like it's going to benefit them and it might be the best play to do, she should give it a try. Just like with the capital, do you know what I mean? They give up the tower because they wanted to try and get into this bunker. Now, obviously, she could have been selfish and just um, not let Ice Nation or anybody come near it and just took them out because they had an agenda against them. Do you know what I mean? But no. So, I don't know. I, I think Ginger's great. Now, again, he's fighting because he lost the crowd. 
I think that's ridiculous, pretty stupid, to be honest. He won this tournament just because the crowd wasn't cheering him and, like, wasn't buzzing about, you know, him going mad. They said that he's shown weakness, but, I mean, showing weakness, the guy was on the floor and he smashed his head in, like, 50 times. So, to me, that's not weakness, but I don't know. I, th I do think that he's got to have a fight again. He can't give up now, because otherwise the last one would have been pointless. Look what I found. Elite just four. Elite just one was an explorer ship unmanned. Allegis 2 was the first mission to mine it, but it failed because it didn't have enough manpower. It switched to prison labor for Allegis 4. So what happened to 3? 3 has an AES 256-bit encryption algorithm. They're trying to hack in from the ground. We're good. What if they get through next time? They won't. I got this. Do you? I Rue said I can do this. Okay? Amon Gunnison. Amon Gunnison. Be the last. He's just gonna stand there now, what? Fight me, damn you. I will not kill this man. We allowed justice to become vengeance. And vengeance to become sport. You are one crew, or you are the enemy of one crew. Mate, look at the timing on that. Look at the timing on that. Is that Bellamere dropping down? Of course it's Bellamere. You know, how have they smashed through that? What have they used? Lark as well. In it, they're looking around like, what's going on? Darkness, mate. We're here to rescue you. Why you aren't? Oh, oh, it's okay. I take it you're his sister. Yes, sorry. Octavia, this is Colonel Zeal's. Colonel. I used to be. Why don't you people get your thing and we'll get started as soon as we're ready topside. They don't listen to anyone but Octavia. Even Bellamy's like, yo mate, she's got some authority. How many people should we be prepping for extraction? 814. Whoever this girl is, she's good. Yo, this is a pretty good storyline, this, you know. I'm actually really liking it. <laughs> he don't care, does he? <laughs> What exactly are you doing here, Raven? Coming to hang out with all the people you might have to kill. I'm sorry if I was a bitch before. I'm just afraid I won't be able to pull the plug. Mate, that's why John's here. The guy's not bothered. He'll do it. And that's why I'm going to do it. I got this. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Nah, mate, she goes first. No one's getting out. Are they taking Octavia up first? I know them people from that ship. They just look annoying. Do you not think? They don't even look like the good people. They just look like they're bad. A proper gladiator, that's it. She looks like a gladiator. There was no weapons. Not my deal. Give me a second to follow me. Reina, the Red Queen. I don't trust these people, Bell. Who are they? Where'd they come from? We have leverage. Here we go. Wait for night. If you get caught, won't be able to help you. See what I mean, Indra? He's the best. This girl is some kind of genius. Everything I thought of, she thought of first. She even had time to flip me the bird. Does that mean she's <laughs> trying to get back in? We still got access to the docking bay doors? Them all. I can get in one of the pods as well. It's time. Pull the lever. Wait. What? Get in the pod. I'm ready to die. Are you? Wait. Oh, they're opening them. Waking up. Colonel, we don't close the outer bay doors right now. Your people smart. Your friend may be smart, but she's a coward. Yeah, this guy seems all right, to be fair. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, actually. But I don't know how they would get out of this situation now, right? The only way that I could possibly, like, you've got to think faster on your feet. They did then. Now, what I would do is say, look, mate, yo, 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 just, just give one sec, yeah? We are not your people. The person that you hate is the colonel. Do you know what I mean? And then I would say, look, she's down there. We want to get down. We want to take her out. 
we're the same guy we're on the same team mate do you know what i mean like i will try and play that i don't know if they do hate her or not but they're out now i have no idea the first guy tried to murder him didn't they no question about it within one second he was after bellamy strangling him so this is gonna be interesting now Oh yeah, they're trying to hide them. Oh. Anyone moves for a weapon, you'll see what full power does to human flesh. Raven, come in. The deal's off, but nobody has to get hurt. Where's your mother? She's our doctor. You can't have her. I'm right here. We'll come without a fight. As long as you take Marcus. The two of us. Yeah, that, that was obvious. That one, it. So she's confident then that the prisoners are actually taking them captive. I actually want to see what's actually happened though. Who's just saved her? This is what Octavia needed in terms of a war. Do you know what I mean? Let's give her a reason to fight. Raven done him. No, it's Jam. Your friend Raven? Yeah. Has to be. We have two hundred and ninety three more. Testing that. Maybe he's done that so it makes it look like he wasn't involved. Blood Raina. What do we do now? We go to war. <laughs> Isn't it, mate? That's the excuse that she's been waiting for. She's loving it. She's gonna thrive again. Do you know what where she was saying there? It's at the end of the episode. Ah, oh, in loving memory. R.I.P. Right, interesting what we was just saying there, you know, like she just said, I trusted you, Bellamy, this is your fault. Eh, technically, do you know what I mean? Like, what would you rather be if you was Octavia? Would you rather be down in that bunker or would you rather be here in Polis? Yeah, okay, smashed up and that. Well, I would rather be on the outside. So technically, they're in the same position, but actually on the earth and they can roam around. They just can't go near that forest or wherever it is where they said they're being. So it's, I don't know, Bellamy got them in a better situation than he was at the start of the episode, in my personal opinion. Oh, it's interesting now that woman yeah the colonel she just looks like a proper bitch you don't know think which is decent and like the guy with the comb over haircut who just shot his mate there you know he said you'll give us a word and like you know like we'll we'll do it like we're all loyal to you not her that's what he said now he's just killed him maybe so he's showing that you know like he's on her side or she doesn't want to kind of like maybe think that he was kind of going against him do you know what i mean trying to bring something that's coming up but it's interesting that he's just done that but i like the guy me who's obviously flying the ship raven's hacked in she's pretty much dominating raven we've not seen what's actually happened with these prisoners that got released um they tried to obviously open the door so it, like the oxygen or whatever come in and it would kill them and they was pretty sound thinking that they're uh, prisoners would be okay in those pods and i was thinking that maybe one solution could be they could get in the pods themselves because Murphy was in one, and maybe if they went in and lay in one for, I don't know, a couple of hours a day or so, that they'd close the doors, and then obviously they'd get out and they wouldn't know that they were still alive. But on the flip side, you know, what actually happened is they decided to think fast on their feet, open the pods themselves, and now obviously all the prisoners are free. Now, we seen the prisoner last episode or the one before attack Bellamy straight away. As soon as he was awake, he went for it. Now, these people, they didn't actually run at... Um, didn't actually run at raven and uh, murphy straight away so maybe they talked to him i don't really know what's happened bellamy did try and communicate up and she didn't respond but it's good that they're out on the earth now octavia thrives in these positions if anyone shows a bit of you know um i don't know threat against her then she's got all for it she's a warrior that's all she needs an excuse to fight and this is it but i thought injury was good this episode i liked it she even give kane the keys as well and obviously now we're seeing that obviously uh the doctor has been taken by these abby looks still in a bad way that she needs medicine to kind of stay like level-headed so it's going to be interesting okay now it's going to wrap up today's episode thanks so much for checking out the channel today hopefully you guys enjoyed it you know i really do like injury and murphy these are two characters where like i don't know 
I just really enjoy all of the scenes that they're in. Sometimes I can acknowledge that they're proper assholes, you know what I mean? And they do some sort of stuff that I think, ah, that's not a wise decision. But, like, for the vast majority, I'm always entertained by the scenes that they do. And, like, I don't know, I, I just really do like them. They're two of the characters that are, like, recurring, but I think they, they, they use perfectly. I actually do. I don't feel like they're overused. I don't feel like they're underused. They just hit the sweet spot. And, uh, you know, I liked today's episode and, obviously, how uh, Indra kind of, like, went in and uh, spoke to... Marcus and then obviously went in spoke to Abby and then obviously Abby confessed that it was her and Indra knew that it was as well and she was like mate you're right for us to lock her up you know what I mean you need to get into her head you need to get uh, you know get her understanding that if you're going to sacrifice yourself that she can't be going around blabbering that she was the one that stole it because then obviously you'll die in vain and then there's literally no point because she'll get killed as well now it's interesting that Octavia she's kind of gone to this I don't know kind of like hardcore level in it mate literally no messing about don't matter if you got a bit of loyalty towards her or some sort of connection you know if you are not one crew <laughs> you are the enemy as she was saying now i like how obviously bellamy cut the deal um which i don't think was a bad deal obviously they've gone against it but basically he was just saying look you know what i mean you want to live here on the earth that's fine do you know what i mean we don't really want to kill your people you just got one of ours basically if you could just open this get our friends and family out you can have half the land we'll have half the land no dramas now they've agreed to it but then obviously as soon as they got the doctor um it's gone south now i don't not too sure why they wanted Abby, to be honest you know she was saying we could take abby up to the ship and maybe we can have a solution um i'm not too sure what, what they're referencing but then again i thought it was interesting that uh raven was sat down and she was doing this you know like holding and she was trying to research and find information she was saying to murphy look mate what's interesting is there's four ships here you know uh she was like first ship it was like unmanned they sent it up as like a research see if it was okay something like second ship you know it was full of people but then it didn't really go well or something then they decided instead of that they're going to start using prisoners the third ship not too sure what's happened to it what what you know like what's going on it's proper encrypted they even had a car hack into it and then the fourth ship which i'm assuming was maybe the one that they're on that was obviously the one with the full of prisoners it is pretty intriguing to be honest what is that third ship where is it and what's it got on it i mean i would have liked to see clark be reunited with uh maddie this episode do you know what i mean because last episode she did save them she come over she killed them guys she got bella med didn't she and then she backed out in the car after dropping him off and obviously clark managed to obviously reunite with bellamy octavia and her mum in today's episode but not maddie hopefully she gets utilized a bit more and used you know as well as the kid that jaha was kind of bringing up as well rip to him you know what happens with them they're kind of like the same age it's going to be exciting to see Again, another person that I actually think might be quite decent and could maybe possibly stay in the show is the person that's manning and flying their ship. You know, he's a tech person. He would be a key essential asset, wouldn't he? So if he was taking out these people now, uh, taking out, you know, the, the colonel and, and the rest of their crew, you can maybe keep the person who could actually fly the ship alive because he could benefit them in the future. And he doesn't actually look like he's a hardcore bad guy. From the conversation that he was having with Clark, like last episode, saying that, you know, he used to go to church and he misses riding his bike and stuff like that. How's the world got into this situation? And then obviously, how many times have we consistently said that? You know, I think the first time when Clark killed the people, he kind of looked at it objectively and said, look, we come into their land and they've retaliated. And then again today, obviously, they're doing this. He says it's a bad idea. Can't really send the rockets off because, you know... Um, they're innocent people. It was made for destroying asteroids, not people. So I think that he's got potential to be all right, to be honest. I'm excited, obviously, to see where that one goes. And then again, I'm really intrigued to see, obviously, if Murphy and, um, you know, if Raven are still not alive. Obviously, I'm expecting them to be alive. But if they're captive or not, I want to know if the prisoners have come and they've killed and, you know, taken control of the ship and obviously tied them up. It's going to be interesting. But I do think that we've had a solid four episodes to the start of the season. I think that guy was obviously rash to shoot his weapon and try and kill people just because Octavia was kind of, like, staring him down. He thought he's Billy Big Boy. Do you know what I mean? Shot it, killed somebody, caused pretty much a war. Pretty much gives Octavia the excuse to go at what and that. You know what I mean? Like go into war. That's something that she loves to do. People are gonna rally behind her as well. It seems like you know she's got the full support of every single person from one crew. There's eight hundred and like seventy odd people now, reduced from twelve hundred. So it shows how many people have actually died in that pit. And like Kane was saying to her, at what point you know did it become? I don't know. He he was like, um, you done it first for law but now you're kind of doing it for sport that's kind of what he was saying so he's like at first you was doing it to try and keep the order but now you're just doing it because you think it's fun and like you've lost your way that's what kane actually said and it's interesting that even though they come back onto the earth they tried to dictate you know the same rules still i would have kind of put it out the window do you know what i mean i'd be like look mate you know fresh start up again free to go anywhere if you don't want me here part of polis 
I'll disappear, mate. See you later. I'll go and live my life somewhere else. Do you know what I'm saying? So, again, very interesting. Can't wait to see, obviously, what happens if they go up, if Raven's okay, and obviously if they manage to um, get back down to Earth safely. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.